what do you find are the reasons behind why stress, knowing the mind-body connection, why it can have such an impact and be detrimental in a lot of cases? Yeah, great question. So the way that stress works is that we have a variety of hormones, but mostly cortisol and adrenaline that come from our adrenal glands. So they're in our lower back above our kidneys. So they're in the body. So the stress hormones are produced in the body, not in the brain, but they travel around the blood. They're part of our 24 hour body clock. So melatonin helps us to fall asleep and cortisol helps us to wake up. So there's a sort of all, all day high of cortisol just before we wake up. And then depending on your age or your gender, there's a normal range where depending on what's going on, you know, we have a, a very good adaptive stress response, which is if we have a deadline or an interview that we, you know, we get some, some of those hormones to help us really perform, but they were always meant to go back to the lower level. But in the, in the modern day, we're switched on 24 seven with our devices. We receive more information by reading a newspaper from cover to cover today than a person did in their whole lifetime 100 years ago. You know, stress has always been there, but it's just really accelerated um, in the last you know, couple of decades, I would say more so. Then obviously, you know, we've had a pandemic and things like that. So there are reasons that people are just more stressed all the time, which means that the levels of those hormones are kind of at the top of the range or even higher than they should ever be more of the time, if not all of the time. And there are receptors in the brain that check levels of hormones and different things in the blood. And if those receptors notice that you've got high levels of cortisol all the time, it thinks that there's an imminent threat to your survival. Mm. So it, it will kind of, you know, they'll work out what are the reasons that I could be about to die. And in some ways we default to our evolutionary wiring. And so starvation is one of the things that the brain will think is potentially a threat to your survival. And so for that reason, cortisol helps us to lay down extra fat in our abdominal fat cells. So with these, you know, business people, if they said that they had gained weight, but it was not all over and it was mostly like they, you know, they had to loosen their belt and that they tried to eat less or eat more healthily or exercise more, but it just, they couldn't shift it, then I would help them to understand that that's because of the stress hormone. And also in the brain, um, the brain won't want to give up resources for what it considers unnecessary functions to your survival. Things like regulating your emotions, collaborating, thinking flexibly, thinking outside the box, solving complex problems. So it, it reroutes the blood supply to just enable you to like do the basics to survive, which obviously isn't ideal if you're, you know, running a big business. It's so interesting that you say that because I remember many years ago, um, I worked in breakfast radio as a breakfast radio producer. And one thing about that is you have to get up at like 3.30 in the morning and oh, wow. five days a week. And I had two young, very, very young kids at the time and it was so stressful and the environment was not ideal either. But a lot of the team that I was working with um, who had never done those hours, which is similar, I mean, not as bad as shift work, but it's still very hard, mm. um, would talk about how they would be putting on a lot of weight uh, and they couldn't shift that weight. So that would explain it because there was so much stress on our body because of the hours. And then when you go to sleep, you can't sleep properly because you're nervous about mm. having to wake up early. And there are just mm. so many factors that are part of that, which is so interesting that we may never have thought about. Well, actually, there's another point there that you, you've kind of like rem reminded me to raise, which is when you do shift work, and I would count waking up at 3.30 because of what we know about how the cells repair and regenerate and the hormone balances happen overnight, which is meant to be in keeping with the light-dark cycle outside. Mm. So female nurses and female air stewardesses, so people who do unusual hours, they have higher rates of certain cancers than other women of the same age. Really? So, yeah. So, you know, it's kind of, there's even more to the story of why it's important to sleep for a certain number of hours. 